sharing your calendar with your colleagues is a great way of working collaboratively. In this video, we'll run through a few different ways in which you can share your calendar and we'll talk about calendar permissions. First, you'll need to open your Outlook desktop app. Click the calendar button located at the bottom left hand side and make sure you've selected home in the top toolbar. You will notice that there is a share section at the top. The first way to share your calendar with someone is by selecting the share calendar option. A new email window will open. Type the email address of the person you want to share your calendar with. You have the ability here to request permission to view the recipient's calendar. If you want to view their calendar, simply tick this box. Next, you can change the details that the recipient can see. Availability only will only show your time as free, busy, tentative, working elsewhere or out of office. Limited details will include the availability and subject of the calendar items. And full details is exactly that. Full details and availability of your calendar. Once all the information you have included is correct, type in a message in the body of the email if you wish and click send. A pop-up box will appear asking you to confirm the permission. Press yes. Another way for you to share your calendar is by selecting calendar permissions in the top toolbar. In the top section here, you'll notice that there is a default name with free busy permission levels. This means that everyone else within your company will have these default permissions unless you specified otherwise. Start by adding the person you would like to share your calendar with by selecting add. Find their name, click add and then OK. You can now completely customise the permissions that you give to that colleague. You can do this by either editing the permission level by clicking the drop down menu here or create a bespoke permission for that individual by selecting the boxes in each of the four settings here. Read, Write, Delete Items and Other. You'll notice that as you do this the permission level will change. Once you're done, select Apply and then OK. If one of your team members have granted you permission to their calendar, you can open it by clicking Home in the top menu. Then in the Manage Calendars group, click Open Calendar. A drop-down menu will appear. You can either select Open from Address Book and search for that person, select Calendar and then OK, or simply select the Open Shared Calendar. A pop-up box will appear. Enter the name of the person or click Name to select a name from your address book. Then press OK. Once you've opened the calendar, it will appear next to yours. After you've opened the calendar, you will notice that it's been added to the folder pane here on the left hand side. To view that calendar in the future, all you need to do is tick the checkbox. We hope you found this video useful. For more videos, check out our YouTube channel.